We have breaking news here on the Fox News Channel. The individual mandate has been ruled unconstitutional. Uh, good morning. We have just gotten the opinion. I'm just getting a first look at it. It is authored by the Chief Justice John Roberts. He says the individual mandate cannot be sustained under Congress's power to regulate commerce. That means the mandate is gone. If there's one lesson we've learned about the coverage of Obamacare, it's to never, ever trust the first response from the right. From the stories of the canceled plan. They clearly lied to you, the American people, and obviously they didn't care. To the toddler who was kicked off Obamacare. First, their health insurance was canceled under Obamacare. Then they couldn't find a new family plan that would cover their youngest baby. Time and time again, the first hysterical, triumphant response of the right has proven to be wrong. And yet yesterday, we were treated to the news that Obamacare is going to cost more than 2 million jobs. The CBO report finds more than 2 million jobs will be lost over the next decade under Obamacare. The CBO now says President's health care law will cut the number of full-time jobs in the United States by 2.3 million. 2.3 million jobs lost. 2.3 million jobs will be lost because of Obamacare. 2 million fewer jobs will be created as a result of Obamacare. All you have to do is figure I'm going to be one of those two and a half million. This is a devastating report. Oh, it's a bombshell. Man, this is just like red meat for Republicans. Yeah, I mean, I think the Washington Post had it best when they said that this is the worst headline of the year for Democrats. From Fox News, cost of Obamacare, 2.3 million jobs. The Washington Times, Obamacare will push 2 million workers out of labor market. Glenn Kessler of the Washington Post fact checker finding other seriously flawed headlines. Wall Street Journal, health law to cut into labor force. Politico, Obamacare and jobs. CBO adds fuel to fire. The Hill, O-Care will cost two and a half million workers by 2024. Even an AP reporter trying to strike a false balance. Basically what you have is two different ways of characterizing this report. No, there are not two legitimate ways of characterizing the report. Everyone seems to have confused the demand for labor, which is do employers want to hire, with the supply of labor, which is, do people want to work? They say there are going to be people working fewer hours going forward because of Obamacare, almost entirely because people will choose to work less. They think the effects on the employer side, willingness of employers to hire, will be negligible. What the CBO report actually said is that the Affordable Care Act's guarantee of health insurance and the way in which the subsidies work means that people won't have to work in order to maintain coverage and will be freed up to work less. In fact, House Budget Committee Chairman Paul Ryan, Republican and no fan of Obamacare, clarified exactly that point in today's hearing on the CBO report. So just to understand this, it's not that um, employers are laying people off, it's that people aren't working in the workforce, aren't supplying labor to the equivalent of two and a half million jobs in 2024, and as a result, that lower work workforce participation rate, that less labor supplied, lowers economic growth. Yes, that's right, Mr. Chairman. In fact, the real effect of Obamacare on the labor market will actually be the opposite of those initial sloppy false reports. So when you boost demand for labor in this kind of economy, you actually reduce the unemployment rate because those people who are looking for work can find more work, right? Yes, that's right. right. As, as the media themselves have confessed, um, they bought hook, line, and sinker uh, some of the talking points from our Republican colleagues. And yet the coverage of the CBO report was basically retweets of Congressman Eric Cantor. Under Obamacare, millions of hardworking Americans will lose their jobs, and those who keep them will see their hours and wages reduced. It is easy to understand why the right relentlessly attacks Obamacare. They hate it. They want to destroy it. What is harder to understand is why the media continues to so readily play along.